What is a scapegoat and why do many, many light workers fall into this category? Watch this video. First of all, a light worker is anyone who considers themselves highly sensitive, who came here on a mission to bring lightness into the areas of this world that hold darkness. This can look like many, many things. However, specifically, most light workers are born into a family or a situation that has contrast, where there is some emotional trauma, where there is some dysfunction in the family. This is so you can Feel that contrast that wakes you up to your purpose. Lightworker has a tough mission, but also has a lot of strength. You have something in you that you wake up to early on that has, you almost have this inability to go against truth. You are a truth teller. You are a truth seeker. You can spot someone who's not being honest. You are a light worker. You have an internal pull towards something bigger than you. You are a light worker. Unfortunately, Many, many light workers end up being the family scapegoat. They end up being the person that everyone puts their stuff onto, the untapped into shame, the unresolved emotional wounds, if not dealt with, are going to be projected onto you. There's something about you that makes it really easy to have that done to you. What is that? Your inability to roll over and just say, okay. You are someone that's going to say, this is what I feel. You're really in tune with your nervous system. You are highly sensitive. You have a different nervous system. You are not someone that is able to ignore their feelings. A lot of us end up doing that, numbing it, doing whatever so that we can survive. But the funny thing is, you are not that person that is very easily gonna let things go. So you become the one that expresses it you are now the scapegoat. You are the issue because you are expressing the issue that's undercover with them. As you can tell, this is a very annoying thing to have to deal with. It can be very painful and ultra confusing when you're young. You always wonder why everything's pegged on you, why everything feels like it's your fault, why you then start self-blaming or even in some cases, self-hating. A lot of scapegoats start to self-blame and self-hate so that they don't have to feel it from others. They check themselves before they're gonna be rejected from others because that's been their diagnosed position in the family or situation. What is a scapegoat? A scapegoat is something or someone that becomes the escape of your own issues. So whoever's making you a scapegoat has a lot of stuff they haven't dealt with on their own and they're projecting it onto you so they can feel free of it. And with highly sensitive people, because we absorb the emotions and this stuff of others, we don't know yet that this isn't ours, so we take it on as ours. In a way, we're a martyr. We relieve them. But unfortunately, when you're around them, they will be triggered all the time. So you will never get out of the scapegoat role until you break free. We break free from the scapegoat identification, when we decide enough is enough, when we decide that we've created our own lives, we've learned enough about who we truly are, we've self-explored, we self-actualized, we self-care and we self-love, when we do that, it is not possible to believe anything about yourself that isn't loving or true. When you understand that your true divine nature is not negative, is not heavy, is not shameful, you see, Guilt says, what did I do wrong? Shame says, what's wrong with me? Many light workers grow up feeling like there's something wrong with them because of the stuff they've taken on them that don't make sense to them. We start looking everywhere. What could it be? What's wrong? What can I fix? The answer is nothing. There was never anything wrong. All that was wrong was you were feeling what others were feeling, what was wrong with them and didn't want to own. See, as light workers, one of our amazing sort of abilities is to simply do the work of not owning, do the work of having strong boundaries. Many highly sensitive people lack boundaries. 
But what we can do is start to realize this is what I am, this is what I am not. When you start owning your truth, you engender the responsibility of others to own theirs. Because once you let their stuff bounce off of you, which is something all light workers and highly sensitive people really need to learn, is boundaries. When you set your boundaries and say, this isn't who I am, this is who I am. This isn't what I like, this is what I like. This is how I'm going to live, this is how I'm not going to live. And your opinion is not going to affect that because mine is way strong. When you get to that point, you are letting people know how they can and cannot treat you. The reason you become a scapegoat a lot of the time is because you still don't know who you truly are. You're so young and you're so absorbing, you're so sensitive that you don't know. Maybe that's mine. I'll take it. When you start to learn self-realization and start to learn about who you truly are, you start to be real clear about who you are and who you aren't. That strong self is, sense of self saves you. You then can be around these people who try to scapegoat you and let them now know, no, that's not mine. Is it yours? Simply by your reaction. Simply by saying no. Simply by having a boundary. When you do that, it bounces off you and goes back to them. They can either not accept it and put it on someone else, or they can finally look at it and say, what is this? What is there that I have to look at? Why would I have done this to that person? What happens then is a big healing. It's not only you, but it's a ripple effect. When we don't over-responsible, right? A lot of highly sensitive people are over-responsible. When we're not over-responsible and take on somebody else's stuff, we give a boundary that engenders their healing because now they have to look. It bounces off of you. What's it going to do? Woo! They might not like it and they might blame you for that, but eventually they can't blame you anymore when you consistently and with high integrity stand in your truth and say no. This simply isn't who I am. What else starts happening is your life reflects who you actually are because now you know what that is. You know how to set up a life and boundaries that reflect the truth of who you are. And the scapegoating doesn't make sense anymore. Funny how that works. It won't fit. It doesn't fit you. It's not you. It was never you. As a light worker, you signed up to transmute dark into light. You signed up for your own self-realization. And through that process, not only do you get to radiate the light that's truly you, but you get to show others by your example what they can be too. Have a great week. Namaste.